The Prime Minister is on his way to Washington. This is his first official visit with uh, George Bush in the United States. Joining us now, David Diamond, a political scientist at the University of Ottawa. A much bigger deal for our Prime Minister than for their President. Let's start with, yeah. with Paul Martin. What does he want to happen in Washington? Well, he's going there because uh, we need better relations with the Americans. It's something that any Prime Minister is going to do, especially one who's just become the Prime Minister. And under Jean Chrétien, they were testy, no question about well, it. Well, absolutely. And so he, he's got to go there and show that he can get along better with the Americans. It's part of what he wants to do going into election, along with these other policy pieces, the health care, the cities, democracy, and so on. So, you know, one of those things, if, you, if we're, there was three there, add a fourth one, Canada-U.S. relations, he wants to go down there and, and show that, that he can manage that relationship. Yeah, and of course what we want out of the states are trade issues and what they want are security issues. Well, I think that's... So how, yeah. is, the, how is this going to work? I think that's exactly right. I mean, they, they, we rolled out the national security policy yesterday, uh, the federal government did, um, and that's creating the right atmospherics going down to Washington tomorrow and Friday. Um, the ballistic missile defense is another thing the Americans are keen about. We're not so keen about. He's going to have to walk a line there that, that doesn't get him offside with the majority of the Canadian electorate, but still doesn't inflame things with the mm -hmm. Americans. So that's, that's on the security side. But, you know, I think Canadians are also concerned about security, and it's an important issue. Um, but, but the Americans are more the driver on it. Are we going to get what we want, though, on softwood lumber and the opening of the border to beef? Well, those are the two big trade issues, that's right. Um, and they're so tied up with Congress um, that I think what the, our government's wanting is to create a, a positive feeling uh, to the extent possible that the president could use some of his influence to help that issue through Congress. But the way politics, uh, authority and power is divided in the American system, you know, those issues are really driven by factional and different business group interests, and it's, it's hard for the president to do anything very decisive on trade issues. Well, we'll watch with interest. Thank you, sir. Thank you.